Welcome to this PalmSense unboxing video. Today, I would like to show you what you get when you order an MSET 4 r As most of our instruments, this one comes in a case. So let's have a look what's inside. So, no surprise, you will find in there the MSET 4 r which is uh, an MSET 4 with battery and Bluetooth for wireless uh, operation. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll start with this one. We also find in there uh, a dummy cell that has some simple circuits in there that's very handy if you want to do some test measurements. And this is also what we will do today. Um, so we will do a measurement with the dummy cell, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, then we have the USB stick, so you can easily install our software. Um, as an alternative, you can also use the activation code you will find inside the case to make an account on our download portal, and then you can download PS Trace basically anywhere where you like. Um, also, you will find inside two quick starts um, that will make it easy for you to, well, start your journey with exploring the MSET 4R. If you don't want to read it, don't worry, we will do the first measurement that's described in here in this video as well. Okay, then you will find in there all the cables you need. Um, one is the cable for your electrodes. So on one end it has the plug that's connected to the potentistat, and on the other one it has banana plugs, two millimeter, to connect to the electrodes. Well, not all electrodes have receptacles, so you also receive the matching crocodile clips to connect basically to almost any electrode you like. Then you will find in there a USB cable. Well, I said wireless operation, of course, because there's a battery, but at some point you will have to charge the battery. As an alternative, you can also um, just operate the instrument while it's connected via USB and do your power and communication through the USB cable. Okay, so just before we start the measurement, I would like to show you an additional accessory you can, can get for the MSTED 4R. That is a front connector for screen printed electrodes, like for example, this one. And then when you uh, want to use these type of electrodes, you can order this different front panel. You can even exchange the front panels yourself if you want to. And then you have in the front a connection for screen printed electrodes. You then just enter them into the instrument and there you go. Okay, that is an alternative as I said, but today we're going to use the connection for the cable. So I think it's time that we set up our first experiment. So I start by connecting the crocodile clips to the banana plugs. I connect the red clip for the working electrode the blue clip, clip for the reference electrode, and the black clip for the counter electrode. Then I'm taking the dummy cell, and the dummy cell has three different circuits. Today we're going to use the WEB, which is just a resistor, um, which is just a very simple circuit that makes it easy to um, see if the results that we get match our expectations. I connect the red crocodile clip to the WEB, the blue crocodile clip to the RE pad and the black clip to the CE pad. Okay, then I connect the, um, the potentistat. Um, just make sure that the red dot points to the top and then you can just push it in. Before we can do a measurement, we of course need to switch the potentistat on. For that, we just press the button and the ring around it illuminates so we know it's switched on. Great, now we've set up our physical experiment. Uh, now we need to get to the software part. So let's have a look how we set up the measurement in the software PS Trace, which I've already installed and opened on my laptop. Okay, so to connect the instrument via Bluetooth, I'm pressing this Bluetooth button, and then the software searches for, um, for Bluetooth instruments. Oh, I think. No, it's not started yet. No. So now, okay. Um, if you don't see the Bluetooth button, just go to Tools, General Settings, and switch on the Bluetooth. Okay, now it found multiple instruments. 
and you can find on the back of your instrument the Mach number and the last four uh, numbers and letters of that number uh, are shown here in the drop down menu as well so you can easily identify the instrument that you want to connect. So then I press the connect button and once the instrument is connected you can also check that on your instrument by the, um, by the blue light that now illuminates the Bluetooth icon. Now we know this potential set is the one that is connected via Bluetooth. Okay, so to set the parameters in the software for this first measurement, we will just load a method file. A method file contains all the parameters that you need for a measurement. It doesn't contain the data of a measurement itself. So to load such a file, I just choose method, load, and pre-installed already in the documents PS data folder, you will find the method file that we want to use today, which is PS dummy cell LSV 2 volts. So I open that and all the parameters are already set for me. The only thing I have to do is press the start measurement button. Okay, so we're running a linear sweep voltammetry, so we're sweeping the potential in a linear way and we have just a resistor connected. So according to Ohm's law, we're expecting a diagonal line in the graph of current versus potential and this is exactly what we see here. So just within a few minutes, we've not only unboxed the MSET 4R but already done our first measurement. So. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like this kind of videos, uh, have a look at our YouTube channel and maybe subscribe so you don't miss any YouTube videos. Um, also, you can follow us on LinkedIn to not miss any other updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.